Welcome to a Photoshop tutorial on automating your actions and applying them to large amounts of images or more than one image. So I've made a tutorial already on an introduction in Photoshop actions and this is just a continuation. I've set up a, an action for some image changes that I want. So I want to open an image. It's crop it by a certain amount, change the image size, export it and close it. So I've recorded my actions and I've done a couple of tests of just testing sort of one or two files. So I'm happy that everything's okay. I'm going to now come into automate and go to batch and this is where you choose what action you want. So you've got your, your set of actions up here and I've changed my action to be specifically the one that I'm using. Now, you have to change your uh, source folder as well uh, to, to where your, your, your images are. Now, the most important thing I would recommend when you're doing this is you create a, a backup of that folder first and put it somewhere that's uh, that's e not easy to reach uh, just in case you've got any mistakes because sometimes the automation happens so fast that if it makes any mistakes you can't you can't catch them quickly so make sure you've backed up your files first I've done that already now you want to click on the override action if you've got open in your uh, file which are, or in your action which I've got there and for the destination you can set a folder if you want uh, sometimes again this can be quite tricky to get working so I've set mine at save and close because I've actually set up the folder in the export here uh, for when the image is finished so I've already set my folder directory and I've also ticked here override action save as comments save, save as commands sorry now you can click stop for errors or log errors to file. If everything's sort of going okay then you shouldn't have to stop. So I prefer to have it on stop for errors. And all I'm going to do now is click OK. After just a, a little moment or so it starts to to whiz away and perform the, the action. You normally can't see everything that's happening because it's going so fast. Uh, if you want, you can slow things down by coming up to the button bar here on the, the actions and click playback options and change the, the pause for time. So it will go through the, the actions a lot slower. There we go, and then you can see exactly what's happening. Uh, I don't need that, I'm happy with it being accelerated, so it will just fire away there and if we go and have a look in the folder of what's happening I've got the images in this main folder here being processed uh, and then the folder that I wanted to save them as that I set up in the export was images uh, corrected so here they are here they're starting to appear and as you can see if we just refresh the folder there you get more popping up uh, so that's going to go through and everything looks okay, it's, it's working fine, so give that a shot if you're wanting to automate any of your, your Photoshop tasks, it's a, a great, great feature. Any questions, just leave a, a note in the comments box.